for the live, Liam. Cheers. upon this beautiful planet. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Mm. Uh, go on now, uh, have a browse. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. You know, since we opened just a few billion years ago, we have always oh. been busy. Constant changes. <laughs> oh, and a few mass extinction events <laughs> along the way too. Although I must say, it feels like I've never been busier. <clears throat> you, as my assistant, will help me keep order. So, here's how it works. Common books, go on the top shelf, becoming more endangered as we move down to the bottom. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, it's not very big, is it? I mean, to hold all living things. Oh, Norma, never judge a book by its cover. There are many more sections. Uh, go on, try another if you will. Oh, okay. Uh, what about this one? Island Palace Polychlorus, yes. Ooh. Large tortoise shell. Aww. A butterfly. You know, the British Isles nearly lost those in the 1980s oh. to the Dutch elm business. Oh, no. But they're coming back, and globally, they're doing quite well. Which is why, Norma, they belong on this shelf here. How do you know all of this stuff? I mean, where will all this belong? Oh, that's easy. The species information comes in here, and I, well, we keep order. Oh, you know what? I think you might like, uh, yes, this book, Norma. Oh, okay. Hello. It's an oak tree book. Yes. Oh, I used to love climbing trees when I was little. Oh, oh. We used to sit under an old oak tree in our local park and have a picnic. We used to put acorn hats on our fingers. Oh, um, that would be uh, this one. Yes. Uh. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, such a shame. I really liked that one too. Wait, what are you doing? Well, I'm shredding it. Uh, you see, it had gone extinct. You know, when a species goes extinct, it has gone forever, never to return, never to be seen of again. Oh, surely it can come back. No, I'm afraid not. When all individuals of a species die out, it's extinct. 
Its story has ended. Oh, but I hadn't even read that one. That's the problem, Norma. No one had. I seem to be shredding books that no one has ever read. Creatures with such potential. Who knows the wisdom that is being lost? <laughs> now, of course, uh, new species, new additions do come in from time to time, have done for millions of years. The Library of Life is always changing. Uh, although I must say lately, you know, the last couple of hundred years or so, it feels like I've been shredding more books than have been arriving. And I do worry that perhaps one day we will not need a Library of Life, just a shelf. Well, we are losing so much biodiversity. Yes. Oh, uh, Bio? Oh, yeah. What? Uh, that would be, oh, yes, yeah. this one. Oh, what species is that? That, that was a phytoplankton. A, uh, a coccolithophore, to be precise. It came from the sea. The sea is particularly unhealthy at present due to human action. Lots of species from that section being lost, <coughs> or at least moving down the shelving system. Oh, well, at least it was only a little wee species of phytoplankton. Phytoplankton. Come to think of that, I've never heard of a cockaleaky fork before. Co -co What's a cockaleaky fork for, anyway? It doesn't sound that important, though. <gasps> It is important. They all matter. I'm sure losing a teeny tiny phytoplankton will have a large knock-on effect to the ecosystem it lives in. You see, everything in an ecosystem is interlinked. Its loss will impact <coughs> others. Impact others? How? Why? I really don't understand what any of this means. Oh, uh, we well, see, every action has a oh. reaction. And now sometimes that reaction is beneficial. Sometimes it can be catastrophic. And the sea? Oh, well, the sea is a particularly complex and interlinked biodiverse ecosystem. Oh, hang on, hang on. There you go again, using all these scientific works. I really don't understand phyto pinky plonks or coco leaky pores or Cocalism. ecosystems. That one's right, actually, yes. <laughs> I tell you what, then. Um, uh, let's use the books, shall we? Um, uh, Norma, if you can take this shelf and put it front and centre for me here, this little table, please. I will grab some more phytoplanktons. Oh look, there's one or two species of coccolithophore in here already. <laughs> These are tiny plants that live in the sea. Ah. Well, you, you do like the sea, don't you? Oh yes, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, you do like to be beside the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be beside the sea. Oh, in fact, I was on my way there yes. to beg and be sea for some fish and chips. Uh, so. Sea life uh, matters then, Norma. Eh? Okay. Well, where are you going to get your fish from? Ooh, Mega Vissi's Flying Emporium. Best fish you could ever. Uh, yes, of course. Um, <laughs> but where do you think they were going to get their fish from? Well, the ocean's a very big place. It could be the North yes. Atlantic, it could be the Irish Sea, it yes. could be the Irish Sea. Yes. Oh. Dogger. <laughs> if the phytoplankton go extinct, or even just reduce in numbers, cod would be off the menu. Oh, that's all right. I'll have the haddock. There's plenty more fish in the sea, <coughs> as my old mother used to say. Uh, yeah, may maybe not as many as your dear mother once thought. The phytoplankton tiny plants from the sea. Uh, in fact, I have a few more here, actually. Oh, look, two more species of coccolithophore, like the one we unfortunately lost. Uh, these two, oh, these two, however, are algae from the sea. Oh. I believe you know these as seaweed. You know seaweed, yes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's from sushi. laughs> I know seaweed. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's why the beach is wet. What, what is it? Come on, you know it, you know it. Because the seed, everyone. The seed. Weed. Yeah. No. <laughs> the seaweed. Yeah. Also known as sea algae, tiny oh. pieces of plants that live in the sea. Now these tiny plants are in turn eaten by tiny <laughs> sea creatures. We call these zooplankton. Uh, I have a few here actually. Zooplankton. Uh, now some of these zooplankton will remain <laughs> tiny their entire lives. Others though are just starting out in life and will grow into much bigger creatures one day. Things like um, baby crab and baby lobster. There's a uh, baby fish and uh. baby cod. <laughs> and. Uh, Baby sharks, do 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 do. Baby sharks, do 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 do. 
Uh, uh, actually, Norma, um, there are no baby sharks in zooplankton, oh. thankfully. <clears throat> now, the zooplankton, in turn, are eaten by even bigger sea creatures. Things like, uh, well, if you would, Norma, just there, please. Yes. Uh, prawns, excellent, we'll have those. And what do they have here? So shrimp, excellent, excellent. Um, yes, and sardines, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, mackerel, excellent. Ah, oh, found him! Uh, Nemo. Uh, oh, yes, uh, Nemo will do as well. Um, now, these sea creatures are in turn eaten by even bigger sea life. Things like, well, it could include... Seals! Seals, yeah, actually, that would be fine. Yes, and it? dolphins! Dolphins, let's have dolphins. those too, yes. Uh, and my cod! Well, that's ideal, yes. Cod. Now, of course, the cod is eaten by me. <laughs> That's right. Every creature relies on all the layers below for their food. I get it. But that's not all. Oh. Let's see what happens if some of the creatures, like our copper lithophores, for example, begin to disappear. Well, it's going to get wobbly. With Should less it? phytoplankton, vegan <laughs> zooplankton, there's now less food for the small sea creatures, and even less for the now hungry cod. Ooh. So when too many species go extinct, the whole pyramid is likely to collapse. <gasps> oh. And no fish supper for Norman. Oh, I was looking forward to my cod. Thank you very much. <sighs> yes, I'm sure you were. But it doesn't just end there. You see, these phytoplankton, well, they're not just fish food. They also help clean up our oceans, and together with the algae, provide us with about half of the oxygen that we breathe. <gasps> half the oxygen? Yes. Breaking. All of this is interlinked. We call it all an ecosystem. Ah, so uh, well, are there many of these ecosystems about then? Well, yes, there are several million species in the Library of Life, each within their own ecosystem. Oh, precious! Oh, Everyone is precious, Norma, oh. and cannot easily be, be replaced. Sorry. Um, so how come there are so many species? Uh, I, I think what you mean is what is the origin of the species, huh? <coughs> hey, hey, wait, wait, where are you going? Shh! It's a library, Norma, and, um... <clears throat> Nature calls. Yeah. Yeah, nature calls quite bad. Yeah. Origin, origin of nature. <coughs> origin of the. What did you say? Origin of the. Bee Gees? Is that what that doesn't make sense? Ah! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Ooh! Hang on a minute. What do you think he said? Do you remember what he said? The origin of. Species. Well done. Yes, of course. That makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> By Charles Darwin. Mm -hmm. Hey, shall we have a look inside? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. I'll put it on here so we can all see. Ooh. I'm very excited about this. Hi, here we go. <gasps> oh, there's a lot of words. <coughs> Oh, is this like your finches going to different 
lines. Oh, very good, yes. I see you looked at the cover of the book. You know, they're adapted to different foods. You know? Large beaks for eating nuts, smaller beaks for eating insects, which led to new species, a new species for every new set of challenges. We call this evolution. Ah, oh, well, we've got many challenges ahead of us at the moment. Hey, is this evolution happening today? Because if it is, we're going to need a bigger livelihood with all this new life. Uh, perhaps, except though often species need to die out first oh. in order for others to be able to. You see, that is called extinction. Oh, is this like when the dinosaurs went extinct, which allowed mammals time to evolve, leading to us? Yeah, very good. Well done, I am impressed. Of course, though, this time, it is different. Uh, why? Well, the changes that are happening now due to human action oh. are happening much too quickly uh, for life to have time to adapt. Well, are we running out of time? Many species are, sadly, yes. Oh, my goodness, we're destroying the library of life. Uh, what are we going to do about it? How can we all help? Well, we well, can start by paying more attention to the little things. I mean, take a worm, for example. Worms? What's so special about a little worm? Oh, you could learn a lot from worms, you know? Fascinating creatures. In fact, in all my years traveling the world, the most incredible story I discovered was in my own back garden. Rich, healthy soil is the heart of a diverse, thriving community of life. So you're saying the solution is soil? Mud? No, I don't understand. How can we all help? Uh, well, I'm afraid uh, that is the new question. Uh, uh, for a new age. A story this generation needs to write. Not me, no. Oh, darling, you. Mm. You're over 200 years old. And right now, all I need is a... I just need a... Oh, Mr. Darwin! Mr. Darwin! Ah, uh, 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 I said tuck that in. Oh, oh. What did he say? Go look at the small things. What were those wiggly things he was talking about? Worms. Oh. Worms. Oh, worms. Hey, let's find a worm book. Oh, worms. There's got to be worms here. Ah, here we go. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on out. Oh, oh, don't be shy. Come on, come on out. Hey, <laughs> it's a bookworm. Oh, oh God. God, the bookworm is. Uh, <laughs> every time, honestly. I am not a bookworm. I am an earthworm. Sally. You've heard of earth, right? Oh, I am very important, you know. When I move about, it breaks up the soil and allows the rain of the air to get down into the roots to help the plants to grow. And I eat dead stuff, it breaks down in my belly. Although, I admit I don't do that all alone. I get help from the little guys, you know, the bacteria. They're in the soil and in my belly. Oh, and they're in your belly too. Oh. I've got to go now. A cheerio. Bye. Bye.
Yeah, right. All living organisms. <laughs> what about a cat? Yeah, we're cats. What about a squirrel? Yes, we're squirrels. What about dogs? Yes, we're dogs. Uh, what about sharks? Yes, we're sharks. I bet you're not in Christmas trees. I mean, what is? Uh, what about me? Yes, we're you. Uh, what about hamsters? Yes, we're hamsters. <laughs> Oh, there's my 
pod from the Arctic Ocean. Right, I'm starting to understand this now. So it's not just about the species within ecosystems that need to be linked up and joined together. It's about ecosystems themselves linking up and joining together with other ecosystems to form the World Wide Web. We depend on the World Wide Web and it depends on us, all life together, including us, making this world clean and beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And each and every one of them unique. Uh, let's pack it away, shall we? Oh, I'm not ready to pack it away. I'm I enjoy seeing all my new friends. It's like a big photo album. Oh, photo oh, album. I enjoy the little bacteria, although it's a little bit blue. And a little wiggly worm. Uh, now, Norma, I'm going to just uh, return this to the shelf. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, does it? Uh, yes. There we go. Ah, thank you, yes. That species, widely travelled, beautifully adapted, such high potential. Although, of course, a little forgetful that they too are part of the web of life. Ooh. Who is it? What is it? Take another look. Oh, okay. Who do you think it is? <gasps> Who do you think it is? It's us. It's our story. Yeah. Oh, there's a mirror on there. Mm. Where do That's we smart. go in the library? Oh, well, of course, humans are increasing at present, Norma, and already billions of them, so top shelf. Oh. Ah, but if the humans don't start to look after the other creatures, well, as we have seen, they too will begin to move down the shelving system. Uh, so you best get started. Ding mm -hmm. dong! Nene the Neneman, need nine rain nine on the Mount of Clones. Let me nine ram nine in the mouth of clothes. Clothes? No, 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 you can't clothes. I've got many things to I've got too many more questions. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do about the web of life? How can we help? Well, just listen to nature and care for it, Norma. I thank you for your help today. The Library of Life needs assistance. And now, more than ever before... No, no, I don't want him to go. Oh, he's gone. I don't know if I'd have been. Don't know what you're 